The Instant Replay source allows you to, as I'm sure you've guessed, add an Instant Replay into your productions. Now, a couple of the obvious uses for this might be for a live sports feed to replay a goal or a bit of action, or it could be used on your live streams to replay somebody's reaction to what's happening there. It's very quick and easy to do. I'm going to use the example of a sports feed here. You see I've got a football match currently playing here in my production. I've set up a scene called replay here, but before I go ahead and add the instant replay source, I just need to do a bit of setup. So I'm going to click the cog icon to open up my settings window. And then in output, I'm just going to firstly look at the recording. So we've got a couple of recording paths here, one for our main recording and then one for our replay recording path. So this will enable you to save any replays that you create. Uh, you might want to do that. You might want to then go back into your replays and reuse one that you'd saved previously. So you can tick this box here to save your replay recordings. Uh, you'll want to set up a folder to save your replays to as well to keep it nice and organized like I have here. A bit further down, then we've got the replay buffer. So in order to create our replays, we need to enable this. And once we have ticked that box, we can then pick a time. So this would be the length in seconds that your replay will be. So for this, uh, 10 seconds is the default, which is absolutely fine for the example that I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to apply that and OK the window. So back to our scenes here on the main interface. As I said, I've got a scene set up called replay here. So all I need to do now is add the instant replay source. So I'm going to come down to the sources window, right click, and then find my instant replay source. So that opens up our instant replay window here for the properties for that source. Now, what I'm going to try and do here is capture a goal. And I'm going to cheat a little bit because I know when there's a goal coming up. So let me just start this off here. Bring this over to this side. I'm going to leave this set to loop because I'd like my replay to loop after I have captured it and I'd like it to restart when I cut it into the program as well. So once I'm set up, I can click start. So it's starting the replay buffer and it's taking a recording of what's going on. So when I'm ready to actually take my replay, it will take the last 10 seconds. So there we go. There's a goal. It's just gone in. Click instant replay. And you see that I have captured the last 10 seconds of footage there and I have captured that goal there. So I can OK this. I can also change the speed. Actually, I might drop that down a bit for the replay purposes. And then when I'm ready, I can cut that in to the program. And there we go. I'm now playing the replay of the goal out via the program. I've just seen an instant replay of that. We've got another replay of it if we need to because I've got it on loop or you could cut away at that point. Just seen it again there. And then when we're ready to go back to the action, we can just cut back in to the game again. And there we go. That's a very basic example of how to use the instant replay source in your Quicklink Create productions. Thank you for watching. You can access other instruction videos on our YouTube channel or by navigating to support.quicklink.tv.